we're here today um, as part of our group to discuss the quality learning environment. Part of uh, the quality learning environment is discussing um, a number of areas. The areas I'm to discuss today are high expectations and uh, social support. Uh, high expectations, I believe, is building a positive classroom environment. It's not assuming that students know certain things. It's about getting more out of the students and encouraging their learning, um, putting up charts with expectations and goals and discussing, sitting with the class and discussing um, you know, what you'd hope to achieve out of a certain lesson or a topic or over a, you know, a term or a semester. Um, an example of high expectations in the classroom would be you know, if you're about to start a geography lesson, for example, on Australia, um, before you even start the lesson or program it fully, um, you should not assume what the kids know. You should sit the kids down and get to know what they know about Australia, get them to name cities, states, whatever, get a good basis of what they know, and then go from there. Um, sit in groups, you know, work individually, constantly monitor, test the students on their knowledge of what they've done at the end of a lesson. And you know, if an individual student seems to understand and, and, and really focus on a certain area, encourage that student further as far as they can, as you can, um, and program accordingly. Um, the second element today is um, social support. Um, to me, social support is um, about building, uh, changing the negative aspects in the classroom into a positive ones. Um, this is done also through positive reinforcement and mentoring by the teacher. It's about building relationships between the teacher and the students and the students with other students. Um, an example, the best example I could find would be our circle time. Um, when we meet as a circle in a group in the classroom with the teacher and students and we either might discuss an issue, a behaviour issue or might be the end of a lesson or a topic and we sit together and we discuss a problem. Um, the students are taught how that circle runs. There's someone that runs the circle, usually the teacher. Everyone else stays quietly and listens. And then everyone is given an equal turn to discuss or give their view on a certain issue or topic. And when they discuss that, everyone sits quietly until everyone has their turn. It's a good social skills, social bonding exercise, and I think that sort of epitomises um, uh, social support in the classroom.